Hello everyone, and welcome to Indie of the Week. Last week we had quite a spectacular time, so I figured we should follow it up with more awesome games. Let me turn the volume down. Gee willikers, that's loud. We're playing Sir, You're Being Hunted this week. A game about getting chased by robots. Robots. Anyway, I'm gonna, instead of starting a new game for you guys to see, I'm gonna load the one I'm playing now. Um, because I personally feel like this game is more interesting halfway through the game. Or more towards the end. I feel like it's going to be very frustrating at the end, but halfway through the game, this game gets quite interesting. Um, what we've got going on, basic, basically the story of this game is... You are a human, and you need to get all these pieces to this strange device, um, so you can go home. You've been blasted onto this archipelago of islands, and they're covered in robots uh, trying that are all trying to kill you and hunt you down. I'll show you my inventory right now. As you can see, I'm pretty loaded. Um, when you start out, you have nothing. Or, well, you have a couple things, depending on which character you pick. Personally, if you do plan to play this game, pick the Aristocrat, because you start out with basically Squat Diddly, and uh, it's more fun, because you have to actually scavenge, scavenge for stuff instead of dive right into it. Anyway, I'll show you what I've got here. I've got some binoculars for good old looking. I've got a pistol for good old shooting. Uh, we got some more guns that are pretty low on ammo at the moment, and I've got a bunch of stuff to eat. Some of these other things are tools you can use. Uh, we'll, I'll show you how you can apply those all the like as we go through. Can I equip this? Some map. I most recently found the map, and that's been quite handy. Um, instead of showing you this island, I don't know. I guess I should go back to the other island. I want to go to the south island in this video. I'm on the west at the moment. Um, everything's procedurally generated. You get five islands. And I set it up so so that uh, each island is kind of a different environment. Because why would you want two of the same? I mean, like, if you had two of the same, it's pretty much English countryside. I mean, like, it's pretty much English countryside no matter where you go. But there are slight differences. Um, we're going to the central island at the moment. And the central island is your stereotypical English farmland. Um, I'm going to the central island in particular to get to the south because I haven't been there yet. Um, but also to drop off something at, uh, one of the main things that you have to do in the game. This thing right here I've got, of uh, this mysterious fragment, you need to collect, like, 20 of these or something? I can't remember how many it is. And drop them off at this standing circle in the middle of the central island, which should be in front of me. You can see up on this, the Skyrim-esque, um like compass up there the circle would be where the the circle of rocks is the pentagons are where the boats are oh a good weapon to have by the way when you're starting up this game look for an axe axes are quiet um i think they break the like if you attack the robots with the axe i think it breaks their guns so you can't take the gun off them however axes are useful you see those crows up there that, um, they were aroused somewhere in the forest, so there are probably robots over there. You can always tell where the robots are by checking where the birds are. See, there are probably some... Unless that's the same flock of crows, there might be some coming that way anyway. Oh, you can see down there, there's one. There's a burly guy in the village, we're not gonna go talk to him, he's kind of aggressive. That guy we definitely don't want to meet, he'll like stalk you. Once, the, what, that guy is called a landowner, and he's completely, in, he's invincible, and will stalk you if, uh, if, if he catches you until Two you more leave of the those, island. And we can activate the device. Okay. So, yeah, that English-sounding man you heard is, I like to think of him as the butler. He sounds like a, a butler kind of guy. I don't know if I want to go this way. What's that? Lumble handle. What's it say? On the end. Ooh, we might want to get moving so that guy doesn't see us. Um, if you see robots, you kind of just want to avoid them. Unless they're standing around something you want, maybe. 
And if they come in small groups, you might be able to fight them. Now let's head to the South Island. I have not been there before, it will be more mysterious. And I also need some some fragments, need to get some fragments. So let's go down there. This game, as you get further into it, you really have to be stealthy. Some items have secondary functions. See, I did not know about this. I did know about the pitch on the trombone, but if you get the trombone, it's good for making noise and distracting people, but ditch the trombone. Uh, it's like, it takes up so much inventory space, and really, it's just a it's a distracting item. You can distract the robots with them. And I think it draws robots towards the sound of the trombone, which makes no sense, because, uh, because, uh, why would you want them to come closer to you, unless you were going to jump out and get them? But I would prefer to lure them somewhere else. I like to, personally, my strategy that I enjoy is to throw bottles, and they like to go to where the bottles are. What is this? This looks like fens and marshes. Everything's really low land. This is going to be horrible when it comes to sneaking around. Another aspect of this game that uh, is very important is uh, looting buildings. This church here, for instance, if I can find wherever the heck the door is, there it is. You can hit off on it and it gives you all of these. It shows you everything that's inside the building. Most of this is crap, but I'm going to take the matches and the uh, the pie for the fruitcake. I'll actually eat the fruitcake now. This Down there at the lower left-hand corner, you can see uh, your visibility. It goes up and down depending on what you're hiding in. Like, now I'm completely invisible to the robots. However, I can't see a freaking thing because there's a tree in my way. Um, but there's also your vitality down there, which is like uh, if you play Minecraft, it's like your hunger. When your hunger goes all the way down, you start losing health. And when it's, like, really close to the top, you gain health. And your health is just your health. When you run out of that, you die. Another thing that happens in this game, if you get shot, you tend to bleed out, which really, really sucks. Um, and it happens really, really fast. And usually when I get shot, it's ve I'm very likely to die. What is this? A dead haggis. What the hell's a haggis? I thought haggis was, chef, was stuffed sheep stomach, but I may be wrong. I think, see, I'm look, the main, part, main thing you need to do in this game is look for fragments to get off the islands, but I'm afraid the fragment I'm looking for is by the blimp and probably all the robots that startled those birds. I don't like this, I don't, I don't like this biome, it's like hard, there's not much that you can hide in. Oh, drinking, dr drinking whiskey and sherry and port will get you drunk, but it will also increase your health. These buildings were not wisely planned. What happened to, like, stilt buildings? Is there a door to this thing? Ooh, a matchbox. I am really loaded up on crap, though. If I do find a fragment, I'm not going to be able to pick it up. Let's, let's eat some food. Jeez, I'm, like, very near... Hunger. Let's just devour food. Free up some inventory space. Bear trap! Too bad I can't have it. Bear traps are awesome. As you would expect, you can trap robots in them. One of my favorite things to do is to set a bear trap on the ground and then throw a bottle at it from a distance. And then they'll go. the robots will go to the sound of the bottle and get caught in the bear trap. However, I'm also a moron and I, got, I get caught in my bear traps very often. <laughs> Because I forget where they are. <laughs> okay, there are guys down there. See, I don't know. I think that's a... F there are fireplaces scattered across the, the map where you can actually cook meat if you have any. And it lets up smoke, but fragments also let up smoke, so I don't know. I'm gonna go investigate. I, I should put my rifle away. I have one bullet and that's useless. Really what you want to use throughout the game is the axe. You don't want to waste your bullets. Oh! Okay. Nope. Die, son. This is probably a waste. Oh god, I missed. Did he shoot me? I don't think he did. Eat axe. Get back. Oh god. 
Uh, okay. Now everyone is going to get attracted to this location because there were gunshots. Let's see if shooting this guy was worth it. Hey, a bag of mints. Great. Anything in this building? Was was this waste of ammo worth it? What the heck is this? Invincible? That's a good deal. Strange, mysterious item. Actually, let me look at my map. Okay, that's not very helpful. Thought I heard something. There's some enemies in the game that... Act Those guys, they're kind of more like they're more vocal than some enemies you can tell they're coming from a distance but there are some guys that are super quiet and they will hide in the brush and drop bear traps down and try to get you is this a fireplace yeah that is not a fragment hey a flashlight something that's very useless and you don't want to take the pheasant however is good um however i can't carry the pheasant the bad thing about those is they take up a lot of inventory space um, if you don't have any matches with you, then I advise not to pick up any game. Because you won't be able to cook it, and it will just take up space forever, like it did for me one time. And I nearly died, because I didn't have space for edible food. Whoa, let's go this way. That's four dudes. Though that last pair was two. I don't think I can fight four. There are guys coming that way, too. See, we, we shot bullets, now everyone's going to come this way. I think I've reached the point in the game where there are dogs, too. And the hunting dogs are not fun. Oh. Well, that guy's not fun, either. I don't really want to interact with the landowner. He always has, like, one dog. Hey, wait, hey! That's a fragment. I know that for certain. That's white smoke. But yeah, you don't want to ever interact with the landowner. He has a dog with him that will tackle you, and then he'll just smash you to death. There's always at least two around these things. It's never easy to grab one. I should have gone to the northern island. I was there earlier, but I couldn't pick up anything because, as I said, I had, like, a ton of crap with me. And I had a ton of pheasant. Oh, this is great. They're just hanging out in the, the tall brush. They won't even see me creep up. I mean, I won't see them, but I can get right up there. This is really a terrible idea. Oh god, oh, the, the, let's not thin out, please brush. Okay, let's just do this. This is dangerously close. Oh god, okay, can I do this without getting caught? Do I have a bottle I can throw? I feel a little insecure. Yes, I do. Go, go over there. Yeah, you heard something. Go that way. Thank you. While you're busy investigating, I'll just take that and leave. They'll probably come back this way, though. Let's just go this way. Also, uh, every door, by the way, has different stuff in it. In it. It's not just houses. Hey, if I didn't already have an axe, I'd take the axe. To be honest, the axe is the best weapon in the game. That's an apple. They're really crappy when it comes to restoring health, but I will take one anyway. They like restore 10 health. What does this read? No one to sneak up on me while I'm reading things. Brave soldiers of the cricket wars. That's a lot of people who died. I wonder if that's people who like supported it on Kickstarter or something. That would be curious. By the way, I never said how much this game was. It's not free. It's 20 bucks on Steam. Um, however, it's really fun, so you should go blow 20 bucks on this game, because it's, uh, it's really, 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 really fun. Oh, let's be sneaky. There are two dudes. What I'd really like is to take their shotgun shells. However, I don't think I even have energy... En I keep saying energy. Inventory space for the shotgun shells. You saw nothing. You see nothing. Whoa! Okay. Let's pull, let, let's use guns. Okay, there we go. The pistol felt more quiet than it usually is. What do you have? Meat that I can't have. Unless I toss... I'll toss, I'll toss the matchbooks. 
Mashed books are one use. Mashed boxes are multiple use. And there was one more that I got somewhere. The biggest problem when you kill guys is finding their bodies. I honestly should not be wasting ammunition on these guys. Okay, that's you. Where's the other guy? I know for certain that I shot two guys. Yeah, this is this wasn't even worth it. This is upsetting. I'm not going to be able to take the other guy's stuff because I can't find his freaking body because the grass is too tall. Unless he ran away, which would not be good. Wait. You died all the way over... Jeez, man, you went far. Okay, I'll take your shotgun shells. Those are nice to have. With, like, the shotgun, you can, like, pop a guy and, like... It, I think you can... If you're really close, you can get him at least one shot. Don't eat those, by the way. You'll trip balls. Um, never eat a red cap, guys. Never eat a red cap. It's nice that you can't drown. Maybe. Oh, okay! Hi there. Hi. Okay, we're just gonna get out of the water. Alright, awesome. Thanks. Bye. Ooh, okay. I didn't think that would happen. That was just that was a surprise. What the hell is that? Whatever that is, I call bullshit. What's over there? House. Sir, I heard you loading a gun, Mr. Scarecrow. We're just gonna go this way. Let's see if we can sneak up on this guy. Excellent sport. He's probably right behind the wall. Hey there, man. You feel like not killing me? Oh, he's being a complete moron. Okay, thank you for being stupid. I'll just take your things. Never mind. Today you live, bunny. Normally, in such a stuck state as you are, I would kill you and take your food, but I'm out of space. Hi, Bucket. Welcome, careful ramblers. <laughs> Gosh, freaking birds! They're gonna be guys this way. I keep saying there are gonna be guys coming this way, and they never come this way. There are three guys there. That guy looks like he's looking for a friend. He looks new. I don't think I've seen someone so short. Oh, Jesus Christ! What the hell is that? Oh, that's a blunderbuss. You're dead, and you sound really, really funny. Um, oh god, I want that gun, but I will leave. Um, I would rather not die. Okay. Okay, go away. Leave me alone. Do I have a bottle? Wait, I just drank some sherry. I probably have some. Something. Oh. Oh god. Oh, holy crap! Okay, let's just run away now. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Ah, uh, uh, band-aid, band-aid. Use that. Oh shoot, okay, leave me alone. Sorry I killed your friend, I was having some fun. Okay, leave me alone! Oh god, they're like six dudes. Okay, leave me alone, please. <sighs> okay, just, let's hide out here. Let's try to get some health back. Do I really want a blunderbuss this bad? That is what it is, by the way. I don't know how much space it takes up. Let's not do anything before we try it. Those gunshots that you hear, they're probably actually hunting other things. Sometimes I find, like, pheasant lying around dead, so I suppose that they shoot things other than humans. Now, where was that guy? They are really close by. There he is. Okay, sir. That takes up a lot of space. I guess I could. I can just move my map. 
decent, and I even have enough space for a bag of mints. Sweet. We'll equip that where the flashlight goes, because the flashlight is useless. Flashlight is good for finding doors, maybe. How much do I have for this? One shot and one shot. That guy practically blew me away with the one he had, so I'm going to keep this. This looks like it'll be useful. How much time has elapsed? I'm really uncertain. We're going to check down this way and then head back to the boat and save, and I think I'm going to call it an episode. Because I do have one fragment on me. I would hate to... And I have a... Okay, bullshit. Okay, sir, leave me alone. That was baloney. You can go... I guess I can shoot the light. That's what I'm going to do. Well, awesome. Ooh, hey. That's a good deal. Do I have room? Maybe. I might have room. Depends on what shape it is when I get it. Um, we've got a matchbox that I can move there. Eat the jar of jam. Move this up. Suppose we can make some space. There, we have a space for, for a long one, in case we are about to get a long one. They're probably going to give us the giant one, just to spite me. Do I have any more bottles? None that are empty. Now I do. Okay, let's be let's be smooth here. I guess we could get in a firefight if we want to, but that'll just attract more people. Oh god, being drunk sucks. Okay. Please leave me alone. Oh god, he's gonna see me. Go way over there. No, not that way. Uh, you, you're running... Ah, uh, fine. No, you you didn't even go all the way. Okay, fine, whatever. I don't... I have a gun. Or an axe. Hopefully I can... Maybe I can axe him before he sees me. I have a variety of guns. What am I worried about? I'm carrying a freaking arsenal with me. I don't know how they don't see me. I could really just creep up on him. There's enough brush. Let's see if we can creep up and then take these guys out, maybe? Don't tell my wife. I am really surprised they don't see me. Hey there, man. Time for murder! I want to hit them with the axe at least once because they'll run away. Okay, you're dead. Sorry. And, oh, you have nothing to give me, except for band-aids. Those are good. Yay, a long one. Okay, good. One that'll fit. Where's the other guy? Um, I'll take your bullets. Thanks. Okay, let's get to the boat. Anyway, let's save. And I'm gonna say goodbye to you. I'm gonna say thank you for watching. Go out and get Sir You're Being Hunted. Go and support Sir You're Being Hunted. Because this game is awesome. Uh, and it's really pretty too, honestly. It's really dreary like it should be. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed watching me get chased and scream and shoot things. And, uh, oh, it's even, the sun's even rising. How beautiful. Or maybe it's setting. That looks like setting to me. No, that's the sun. I can't tell. Anyway, I <laughs> hope you guys have a good weekend. I hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned for the next Indie of the Week. And have a good weekend. Enjoy your games. Bye, guys.